Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to my channel, I guess. So, I decided, I'm out of breath, I decided to start a YouTube channel for, just for fun, I guess, for a couple of reasons. But I just wanted to start with this video because if you don't follow me on Instagram, I made a post about my skincare journey, about my transformation. I'll insert pictures of that now in case you don't follow me and you're, that's probably why you're here also. So yeah, I decided to make this video just to really talk about the products that I really think helped my skin and my skin loved and also the products that did absolutely nothing for me and that I hated. Here we go. <laughs> I just want to make a couple disclaimers before we start. I am not a dermatologist or an expert. A lot of my love for skincare was through trial and error, and I think that's kind of how you have to figure out what works for you. Personally, I dealt with what I think was, I still don't even really know, but what I think was a lot of hormonal acne from a prescription that I was put on that my skin did not agree with whatsoever, as you probably can tell. And so it was up to me to figure out how to really come back from that because that was rough. Yeah, so I'm just here to share the products that I loved and that my skin loved and that helped me. And I'm going to try to describe them as best that I can so that if you're looking for new products or just trying to help your skin, that it could just help one person. So yeah. So I'm going to start with the products that I didn't like and that didn't help me at all. And luckily it's not that many. I tried to remember them all, but these are the ones that kind of stuck out to me that really, really did not work. To start, the Urban RX Cleansing Bar. I honestly tried this because everybody on TikTok said to clear their acne and got rid of their scars. And I was like, okay, like it's done with, I'm gonna get it and that's it. And I got it and it did nothing for me. I actually think it irritated my skin even more because if you have used this product, it comes with this little like cleansing sponge bar thing I don't really know and you just rub it on your face every single time and dip it in the thing and that's probably not good for you and builds up a lot of bacteria so that was a no-go for me and then the next thing I'm kind of disappointed about this I don't know if I want to try it again the CeraVe foaming face wash and the salicylic acid cleanser I loved the texture of them I loved how simple they were they didn't have a fragrance I really like that about them um, but they just really didn't really didn't clear my acne it felt like a really good basic cleanser but I think I just needed something stronger for me and that just wasn't it that's why I'm debating on going back to it though because it is a nice basic face wash so if that's what you're looking for maybe try that one and then what I personally dealt with a lot you could probably tell from some of the pictures I dealt with a lot of acne scarring and hyperpigmentation so that was something I was trying to get rid of so bad. I mean, I suck for picking my face a lot. Like, when I get pimples and acne, I'm the worst at not touching my face. But even when I don't, I still get marks. So, I tried bio oil for my scars. And I just think, I have naturally oily skin. So, I don't think that really meshed with me well. So it's like oil on oil. It, it just didn't feel like a good combination. And it wasn't like a hydrating oil, it was just kind of sitting on my skin. I don't think I stuck with it long enough for me to even like say that it did or did not do anything. I just think my skin did not like it. So those are the things that didn't work for me. Now let's move into like the good stuff. The things that we're here for. And that like actually helped me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna try to do this in order of like how I would apply this to my skin. So these are the products that I loved that help my skin and that are still in my routine right now. I'm going to start with cleansers and well let's first start with when I wear makeup. I no longer use makeup wipes. I used to use Neutrogena makeup wipes but I don't use those anymore. They felt really harsh on my skin. They sometimes burn my skin and they're also bad for the environment. So I now use the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm to take off my makeup. It's $9.99. I get mine from Sephora. It's a very, it's, it is like a balmy, like, consistency, and it's really nice on your skin, takes off all my makeup. I know that double cleansing is starting to become more popular, so I try to use that as, like, my first, like, base of cleanser and all that, 
gunk off so that's like a really good base to get like the dirt or the makeup off that's what I use and then let's go into the cleansers I was put on to a really great brand by a friend of mine who's also really really into skincare and the brand is called Rose and Skincare. It's black owned and all of the formulas are studied and created by the people that work there, which I think is really awesome. And they have two cleansers and I've tried both. The first one I started with was the Super Smoothie Cleanser. It's $17.99. And this cleanser, this one, I started with this one because like I said, I was really, really insecure and focused on my scarring that I had everywhere. And the Super Smoothie Cleanser's main focus is to get rid of those dark spots and really make your skin look glowy. So yeah, I started with that one. I loved the texture, I loved the scent. It was super light, it doesn't get super soapy and foamy, which at first I was like, okay, is it really working? But I stuck with it. I think I went through two or three bottles of it and I really did start to see a difference in my dark spots which was awesome um, and then their second cleanser is the earth cleanser I know just based on following them from social media that their earth cleanser is sold out right now um, but this one I transitioned to once my scarring was starting to fade and my main focus was now keeping breakouts away and like just keeping the pimples out or not the pimples out the pimples away and so this one's also $17.99 and this one is more like a minty like refreshing still a great texture i just feel like your skin feels like super it almost feels like i don't know if this is weird it's like mouthwash for your face like feel refreshed you feel clean you feel just like minty good like everything's washed out so that's how the earth cleanser is really really nice and then this is what i'm using right now i kind of spoiled myself a little bit with this one i'm trying to do both of like affordable skincare and like things that are a little bit more expensive so that you can choose and pick all of these are really really good and i would recommend whatever works for you and this one that i'm using currently right now is the skin suticles lha cleanser gel and this one is 41 dollars. i know it's a little bit expensive i know but it's a it's a big bottle I have it should I go get it okay one second okay so this is the bottle as you can it's like the size of my face okay like it's pretty big and ew, there's a hair on it and I'm almost out oh my god I get to do this now as you can see it's almost out but this one I was also put onto by my friend the same one that recommended me rose and skincare and this cleanser is a bit stronger i only started off using this one maybe two or three times a week but it had a salicylic acid in it which is good so that's what i've been using i've been loving it i use that every day morning and night but i worked my way up into that and this one gets super soapy which i i do love super soapy so you know when you're washing 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 your face it's really soapy and it feels really clean and this also has a bit of a refreshing smell which i love too this is like my bougie bougie little purchase here i if i was not gonna rebuy this one i would go back to rose and skincare so those are my top four cleansers now let's move into serums and oils i have a, a couple i have a, little, a handful of these but we're just gonna run through them first is my holy grail this this one helped me this one started from the bottom with me, and that is the Ordinary Niacinamide. It is $5.90 from, I think, Ulta and Sephora. I think they're the same price. And this one, because I have oily skin, this one really took me out of the trenches from the start. Because I used to have, like, these little, you know, those little, those little dots that, like, almost aren't even pimples. They're just bumps. And those immediately took my bumps away from the start. So that was amazing and I still use that every night after I cleanse my skin. The next thing I'm going to get into are vitamin C because again, my hyperpigmentation and scarring, vitamin C, I can't recommend it enough. It brightens up your skin and it helps those dark spots and the just evens out your skin tone. I have two vitamin C's that I'm going to recommend, one affordable, one a little bit more pricey. So the first one I'm going to start with is the Rose and Skin Care Bright Citrus Serum. This is also 
I went through I think three of these and I know I'm currently using a different one which I'll get into but I know that they've changed their ingredients to make it a more thick consistency which I'm super excited about I'm gonna repurchase that one but that one I think it's mm, okay yeah I was right the Rosen skincare bright citrus serum is 20% vitamin C which is amazing if you're looking to get rid of dark spots even at your skin tone I would highly 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 recommend that vitamin C the bright citrus serum from Rosen skincare the one I'm currently using now I actually won in a giveaway on Instagram from Bria Jones shout out to her and it is bear with me on this name the Dermalogica bio lumen C vitamin C serum now like I said it was gifted to me or in a giveaway the price of this one is $89. I know, I know, I know. It's very expensive. I got it in a giveaway. So I'm going to use it. And I'm honestly been liking it a lot. So yeah, I'm going to stick with that one for now until I finish it. But then I would go back to Rose and Skin Care. It's my camera battery dying for me on my first video for me. Anyways, I think where I left off was it's $89. I got it as a gift. If you want to spend that much, it's really great. If you don't, Rosen Skincare is where it's at. The next thing I'm going to move into, um, also for dark, dark spots, I'm telling you, I've tried a lot. And I still use this one at night. I alternate this one with the Niacinamide After Cleansing. And this one is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. And this one is only $12. I think it's worked wonders for me. I think I've been using this for about three months. Um, so I think this um, combined with a vitamin C in the morning, I use this one at night. I think it's really nice and I just put moisturizer on after it. I think it agrees with my skin really well. I mean, that one just tells you what it is in the name. It's, it's for discoloration correcting. So that's another one I would combine with the vitamin C. Not together. One in the morning, one at night. So yeah. Another one I use at night. I, I alternate a lot. So I also use the Coast RX BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. And this is because sometimes I get blackheads and like my pores on my nose, which I don't really love. So I got this one. This one's $25 from Ulta. Also a pretty big bottle. And you just put that on a cotton pad and just... It's almost like a toner. That's how I explain it. Like after you cleanse, you put on a cotton pad, wipe that off your face, and then I push, put moisturizer on after it. I think it's been pretty good for like reducing my pore size and, and actually getting rid of some blackheads on my nose so that's a good one too and then lastly um, this is an oil this is the ordinary 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil and this one I use um, I know I said I didn't like oils but this one feels super hydrating at some points I was even using this as my nighttime moisturizer and also if you like to gua sha this is what i use so that you're not doing it on dry skin obviously um i just put a couple maybe like four drops on my face rub it all over um and it just feels super 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 hydrating so um, if you're looking for that hydrating plumpy feel at night maybe i don't i wouldn't use it in the day personally but i think it's a great oil and it's great for if you just want to massage your skin at night or like jade roll face roll anything like that i would recommend that oil last but not least we have the lotions and sunscreens i'll start with daytime moisturizers and sunscreens so the first one i was using from the very beginning was the cerave daily moisturizing lotion this is a very very lightweight watery lotion feel so i liked it because i do have oily skin and so this was a very nice like lightweight like especially in the summertime when you don't want to feel like super thick products on your skin this was this was really nice so it's super simple doesn't have a fragrance that's a great basic moisturizer if you're looking for that then i realized you know i need to start focusing on spf and sunscreen a lot more so I just switched to the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30 in it. This one is a little bit thicker, obviously, because it has sunscreen in it. But for my people of color out there, this one doesn't really leave a white cast, which is nice. Once you rub it in pretty generously. I'm going to go into um, sunscreens that I love that aren't in the moisturizer. The CeraVe one is awesome because it's your moisturizer and your sunscreen in one. But I also use this one I found at Marshall's for $6.99. I don't know how or why it happened, but it did. 
and it's the Super Goop Super Power Sunscreen Mousse in SPF 50. It actually retails for $19 and I'm really lucky I found it for such a great price. But as you can tell from the name, it's a mousse. So it feels super light and airy. It is a little bit, I would say, thick isn't the word. I would say like shiny, which kind of feels nice in the summer. It gives you like that nice glow. So if I'm just using a regular moisturizer, like the CeraVe um, moisturizing lotion, I'll put that on top of it. And then also, I have to talk about another sunscreen that was also in the giveaway from Bria Jones. And this one is super, super popular. You've probably heard of it if you're into skincare. And it's the Super Goop Glow Screen in SPF 40. This one retails at $36, which kind of sucks because I want to rebuy it because it's so nice, but not for that price, if we're being quite honest. And so this one is almost like a BB cream or like honestly like a lightweight foundation almost. I have it on right now, but it's a tint, it's almost like a tinted sunscreen. So it, it's it's pigmented and which is really nice because then you don't have to worry about white cast. It makes your skin super super glowy, which is awesome. And it's SPF 40, so it's a, it's a win in a lot of categories except that price. That's all I have to say. Okay, now let's move into nighttime moisturizers. Um, like I said before, I was using the rosehip oil from The Ordinary as a nighttime moisturizer sometimes just because it's so hydrating. But if I'm not using that, I started using the Soon Jung Two Times Intensive Barrier Cream. This is, I found out about this from TikTok. This is uh, from a Korean skincare line. And I think I paid, I wanna say $16 for it. Um, from a store in New York, but I've seen it online from anywhere from like $10 to $20. I don't know if it has to do with size or what, but this is a super nice, I think it's in between like a lightweight watery lotion and like a thick creamy, which is so, so nice. It has no scent. It just feels very, very nice on your skin. I, I'll probably, I'll keep rebuying this one for a while. It's just such, such a nice um, moisturizer. And lastly, this one I was also gifted. I feel like Bria Jones is just supplying my skincare line right now, but it is what it is. This one is a nighttime skin cream that I got in the giveaway, and it's called Ren Skincare Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. It's a long name. And this one retails for $52. Yeah, I know, it's expensive. But this one is super rich, super creamy. It smells nice. Um, but not like overpowering fragrance and I've been loving this one. I usually use this one after the COSRX um, BHA or the niacinamide and yeah it's specifically for dark spots which I got lucky with within the giveaway and I don't think I would rebuy this one. I think I would stick with the Soon Jung or some kind of CeraVe lotion but if you're looking to spend like I said something more pricey um, something more luxurious in that skincare realm, then I would definitely go for that one. So yeah, I hope I didn't breeze through that way too fast, but those are the products that I've been loving, that my skin has been loving, and that I probably will continue to rebuy. I filmed this video because I did get a couple questions on my post and in the DMs about what products I'm using, like how the heck did I do this, and Along with the products, it is a lot of patience and a lot of like just trusting the process. Like at no point throughout the last 12 months was I like, like screw my skin, like I just don't even care anymore. No, I had to like actually care every day, like, wake up and like take care of these marks on my face. Just talk nicely to yourself because I think that really helps in how you're feeling inside and then it's just, it's a whole process, it is. But I hope that any of these products can help anyone out there struggling with their skin. And if you have any questions, either leave them in the comments. Oh my god, I can't believe I was saying that. <laughs> leave it in the comments or you can mess message me on Instagram. If you guys try any of these products, be sure to let me know how you like them. That's all I really have. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. I don't really know yet. I don't, I don't know if that's right, but you get it. That's all for today, and maybe I'll be back with more videos. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I had to do this one because I was getting questions, and this is the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna stop talking now. 
Live Love Skincare. Mwah.